Hey, Narenka, it's Mr. Serban and my son. Gabe. Uh, we just want to talk to you really quickly about this week. Um, welcome back to school. I know it's been a long break. I hope you've enjoyed it and had some great time. Welcome back to school. We are so happy to have all of you. So glad to see you. Um, we look forward to seeing you on the playground and in the lunch area. Um, hang out, say hi, let me know what's going on. I cannot wait to see you. It is really, honestly, so good to see you. I've missed all of you. Don't forget that we started this month, um, or last month, we started this month with self-control as our theme. Um, we have three great videos. One is about a golden retriever that shows amazing self-control. We have a self-control song that, um, it's a fun song. I think you, you listen to it and there's a lot you can get out of it. Even though it's kind of simple, it's, it's really good. Um, we have an amazing video by uh, Ronaldo, a famous soccer player most of you probably know. Um, the song is really cool because it's Never Say Never, and then it's his amazing soccer moves to the song Never Say Never. Um, the very beginning of this uh, video, of, after these, are going to be three videos on bounce ball. Now, teachers, um, <clears throat> we're going to be showing, uh, each week we're going to be showing a new game and teaching the students that game. So the game this week is going to be bounce ball. We have it in English, Arabic, and Spanish. Next week we'll have a new game. Teachers, if you want access to these games, obviously you can see them here, but I'll put a link together and send them all out so you can um, assign them in your uh, Google Classroom or however you want in the different languages. But you'll be able to, the first one will be English, then Spanish, then Arabic, so everybody can watch them or you can decide how you want to share the videos that are going to be coming up next in all three languages. Um, each video is in a different language, so it won't be one video with three languages, three different videos, three different languages, so it'll be easier for the kids to use. Um, and as a reminder for self-control, I wanted my son over here to tell you a little bit of a, about self-control in his life and how I know it's not always easy uh, with a crazy younger sister, but he's going to tell you a little bit about it. Yeah, so sometimes during, like, I don't know, my sister has a bad day, and sometimes she'll get mad at me, and I just try to stay calm and have my, use self-control just to kind of, like, help comfort her and not get mad at her and angry with her and then get in a fight just be calm and just be like hey it's okay you okay make sure she's having make sure she feels better and not has a has a better day Gabe is it sometimes hard especially when she's <laughs> not being completely nice and maybe being a little snotty or rude yeah it is I mean but at the same time I love her and I just want to make sure my sister is okay and and in the end I know she'll be she'll realize okay He's trying to make me feel better once she kind of calms down or just kind of realizes like, okay, I had a bad day, but I can get over it. So. And I told the kids, what are some of the techniques you use to stay calm? I told the kids, and I've practiced with them all about belly breathing. Could you talk about how you use belly breathing and how that helps you? Yeah, so um, when I get stressed out sometimes or like I'm angry at somebody or like maybe I'm just having a bad day, sometimes I'll just lay down and I use belly breathing. It just helps me relax and just kind of just calm down. Sometimes it actually helps me fall asleep. Like if I can't fall asleep, like maybe it's there's some loud music going on next door or there's like, who knows, or just something loud or just can't fall asleep because I'm thinking about something or just having a bad day and I just need to fall asleep, I belly breathe and it helps me out a lot, so. Can you remind them about what belly breathing is, what that looks like? So yeah, you just you, so you lay down and you just breathe in through your mouth and you like, expand your stomach, so like that. So maybe in through your nose and out through your mouth? Yeah. And then what does it look like on your hand? What is your stomach doing? So my hand, the, my stomach goes out when I breathe in through my nose and then my stomach goes in when I breathe out through my mouth and that helps and I keep my hand there so I try to raise my hand up as much as I can and then I let go and then I breathe out. It goes, it, uh, suck, so I suck in and then I see. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you, Gabe, for talking about self-control. Students, I hope belly breathing works for you. Um, enjoy the videos this week and make some good choices on the playground. And here's some rules about bounce ball. Take it away.